Hi, my name is Claudia. So our group will present the article The Role of Single Currency for Countries Economic Development, a case study of the East African Community. So I will present um, three parts, which is introduction, research question, and problem statement. So my introduction is, so the introduction of the article is based on Davidi 2012 to achieve and contemplate its future challenges of the East African community, which is EAC. There is consist five of uh, there is consist five of countries, which is Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Uganda. The goods and services value had increased because of the effect multiple currency which is cross-border transaction. EAC con country adoption of single monetary unit, but many of countries faced landlock and issue reaching international market based on Marty's 2011 proved that balkanization is one of the biggest problems in Africa. Meanwhile, the number of services sector are close. For, monetar for monetary union are quite challenging, which is EAC, political discussion around the nature of the monetary authority as well as the institution that required. And also, for adoption single currency factor, economic development, which is enhancing currency stability, reduction of financial risk, reduction of transaction costs, reduction of exchange rate fluctuation, fluctuation, enhancing price transparency, I'm sorry, enhancing price transparency, and reduction of um, reduction of inflation that impact on trade region. So next is research question. Um, the research question about the article is what is the role of single currency for EAC member state economic development? That is for the research question of the article. And next is problem statement. Uh, I have two which is I found that um, problem statement in the article. I found two which is the effect of multiple currency in cross-border transaction has led to the increase of the value of goods and services. And the next is critical feasibility study so as the, to determine the role of single currency to drive economic development of EAC. From the literature review, we can find six factors that encourage AAC member countries to seek for the adoption of a single currency for economic development. The first factor is for enhancing the currency stability. In the past study written by Carmen, he said that the role of monetary union is the enhancement of foreign trade, which then leads to faster economic development. Then supported by merits that it also can enhance the macroeconomic stability. Next, based on the European Commission, the euro was created because a single currency offers many advantages and benefits, not only for fluctuation rates and exchange costs, but for closer cooperation for a stable currency and economy. The second factor is for reduction of financial risk. With reference to regions of European countries in the Euro area, several commentators have noted that regional tensions within countries have been fueled by monetary unification to reduce risk. The third point is reducing transaction costs. The need to exchange currencies meant extra cost, risk, and a lack of transparency in cross-border transactions. With the single currency, doing business in the euro area is more cost-effective, less risky, and less monetary fluctuation. Hi everyone, my name is Natalia Chi. Other than uh, enhancing currency stability, reducing financial risk and transaction costs, reducing exchange rate fluctuation is also important. Frankel, 1999, said that exchange rate target is a useful component of monetary stabilization program when seeking to add a period of high inflation in some countries. 
However, the European Commission 2013 said that there is a system designed to avoid excessive exchange rate fluctuation between the participating currency and the euro that might disrupt economic stability within the single market. According to Kinsambira 2013, East African community countries registered strong foreign exchange inflows which coupled with the weakening US dollar to lead to strong appreciation of local currency. Next, enhancing price transparency. According to European Commission 2013, before the euro, there was a need to exchange currency mean extra cost, risk and lack of transparency in cross-border transaction and the introduction of single currency is usually crowned as on achievement of the price stability. They also said that the evidence that individual consumers compare prices easily in cross-border trade and investment with more efficiently throughout the euro area without the risk of fluctuating exchange rate. Within the euro area, there is now a large integrated market using the same currency. Therefore, European Central Bank 2010 said that the development of unilabor cost and price indices is routinely considered in the assessment of price performance. Lastly, reduction of inflation. European Central Bank 2010 said that the sustainability of the current exchange rate is based on the development of real bilateral and effective exchange rate. However, according to Milky Weeks 2003, they, he said that the nation throughout Africa country continue to be beset by civil wars, in poor infrastructures, unsustainable fiscal policy, and low investment linked to corruption and the absence of rule of law. A monetary union will only accentuate the failure of Africans to tackle these more fundamental problems. Starting a monetary union with over or undervalued exchange rate could create rapid price increases in some countries and widespread Widespread public discontent for lowest inflation said Durable 2011. According to Adams 2005, even as complete monetary unification may never be economically justified, it represents a good opportunity to promote the harmonization of financial, banking, and political system that will increase the efficiency and development of African countries individually. I will present my part which is Material and Methodology. The study used a secondary data set and structures of questionnaire as tool designed to assess the role of single currency towards ESC region economic development. The set of questionnaire was given to academics, scholars, business people and individual living in ESC region headquarters in Arusha. The analysis is focused on factors that Justify the adoption of single currency in ESC, such as first, enhancing currency stability, second, reduction of financial risk, three, reduction of transaction costs, fourth, reduction of exchange rate fluctuation, five, enhancing price transparency, and lastly, reduction of inflation. Now we go on to procedures and data analysis. The data that have been collected were electronically coded and set for analysis using statistical package for social science or we can also known as SPSS. The data set were analyzed using descriptive technique, frequency percentage for arguments and opinions were computed. Percentage of corresponding Response for each variables were discussed. Good evening, I'm Sherinia Pang. Me and my friend VVLC will be presenting the result of this paper. The result of this paper shows that there are a number of economic factors that tempt the East Africa community to engage in the process of adapting single currency for monetary union. 
First factor would be enhancing currency stability. A majority of 47.3% respondents have high knowledge on the role of single currency to enhance currency stability. A study done by Ogawa et al. 2008 in East Asia support this result in which a common currency unit has gained a great deal to its economic development. The second factor would be a reduction of financial risk. Majority of 38.5% have very high knowledge on the role of single currency to reduce financial risk for economic development. Carmen's study supports this result saying that financial crisis should not be neglected. The third factor would be reducing transaction costs. 53.8% respondent had very high knowledge that single currency would reduce transaction costs. International Monetary Fund in 2011 and European Community in 2013 clears that having group insurance joined together will reduce fixed costs to individual issuers and the liquidity premium. Also, country will not have to pay extra costs for currency exchange. Therefore, doing business in single currency is said to be more cost-effective and less risky. Next is reducing exchange rate fluctuation. From the findings, 46.2% of respondents are very highly agreed that single currency will contribute to the reduction of exchange rate fluctuation. This happened since ESC countries registered strong foreign exchange inflows, weakening US dollar to lead strong appreciation of local currencies, thereby complicating monetary policy and export sector competitiveness. Based on this statement from Kisam Bira 2013, the local currency will eliminate the fluctuation of currency values across certain borders. For the role of single currency in enhancing price transparency, 47.3% of the respondents had very high knowledge on this. This is because the introduction of single currency can lead to price stability and can reduce the cost of doing business across borders within the ESC based on European Central Bank Study 2009 and European Commission 2003 respectively. With price transparency, consumers could now compare the cost of goods sold in both local and foreign products, while the firms will no longer put high prices in local national currencies. So this will encourage more cross-border business and help to increase the economic performance of the country. Lastly, the reduction of inflation. The finding shows 46.2% of respondents are highly knowledge on the role of single currency to reduce inflation in ESC region. This is due to development of real bilateral and effective exchange rate, which stated by European Central Bank 2010. But in contrast with Milky Weeks et al. study 2003, he stated that corruption and absence of rule of law cause civil wars, poor infrastructure, unsustainable fiscal policies, and law investment. While for Bamiduro 2007, single currency program will require greater analysis given the changes will bring to the economic structure. Okay, for our conclusion that this study shows the effect role of single currency for EAC member states economic devel development. So, uh, based on the result um, tells on the factors that is the enhancing currency stability, reduction of financial risk findings, reducing transaction costs, reducing exchange rate uh, fluctuation, enhancing price uh, transparency and reduction of inflation. 
that shows that most of the uh, respondent frequencies are in very high and high percentages. So um, this concluded uh, that the factors that encourage the EAC members countries um, in order to engage the process of uh, adopting some currency for monetary union um, shows that the most of the respondents are highly uh, knowledgeable on the role of integrating single currency in ESC for economic development that gave uh, effect on trade within the region. Okay, and last but not least for our recommendations. Okay, in order to improve this process of adapting single currency for monetary union, they need to explore more several monetary unions models design a proper way of the integration process then put the mechanism of implementing uh, of the implementing the single currency integration into place in gradual manner uh, a research on the risks and consequences uh, related to single currency needed to be conducted with the contrast to the euro in european community Attempt uh, further research on explaining the prospect of a single currency for EAC and policies on the single currency for EAC should and needed to be ready after um, running a feasible research that link to the monetary union. Okay, that's all. Thank you.